Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching Crystal's Clean Kitchen, where we make clean eating a lifestyle. Now in today's episode, we are gonna be making a low carb chili. It's paleo, keto, and Whole30 approved, and it is delicious. Now, a long time ago, when I first got married, I would make my husband some chili, and you know, I used to add, no joke, 19 cans of beans to my chili. Oh, what was I thinking? Well, this low carb recipe has no beans in it, and you know what, it is delicious. You won't even miss it. Okay, well, let's get cooking. Okay, well, we have everything ready. So I got out my Instapot and I turned it to saute mode. Then I'm gonna get a pound of beef and a pound of sausage. And we're gonna just saute that first. Then you can just break it up a little bit as you're doing it. Now, once this is broken up and cooked a little bit more, we're gonna add some green peppers, some onions, a jalapeno and four big cloves of garlic. Okay, so after I sauteed the beef and the sausage, I also sauteed all of the other vegetables. And then I added some tomato sauce, two cans of diced tomatoes, and a can of tomato paste. Then for the seasonings, I did a half a tablespoon of salt, a half a tablespoon of pepper, um, a half a tablespoon of this Spiceology garlic herb blend. And then I did a half a tablespoon of cumin and a half a tablespoon of chili powder. Now, if it's too spicy for you, like we already added the whole jalapeno pepper. So if it's too spicy, you can always just not add that one. And then I did one tablespoon of Italian seasonings. Now, are you guys ready for my secret ingredients? I did one tablespoon of molasses. Now this will give it that really good brown sugar taste without all the detriments of sugar. And then my other secret ingredient is bacon fat. Just a tablespoon, it just adds so much good depth of flavor. And for my last secret ingredient, it is cauliflower rice. I know that sounds crazy, but you cannot taste it in this chili. It's not gonna taste like cauliflower at all. And it just kind of absorbs all the other flavors. And it is a great way to add some vegetables for your family without them knowing it. Okay, so then we're gonna put the cover on, mix this up a little bit, and start it on the pressure cooker button for 30 minutes. All right, so I just cooked it for 30 minutes. Now look at this consistency. Seriously, you are not even going to miss the beans. All right, that was it. It was so simple, you guys. Now I also wanted to mention that I added one cup of bone broth to it. Now depending upon the consistency, you could add more than that if you're wanting. And for toppings, we just did some sour cream, some avocado, some cheese, and some jalapenos. But depending upon what you like, let me know what your favorite toppings are. And I also wanted to say that if you wanted to do it on the stovetop, it is just as easy. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you next time. And don't forget to let me know how you liked it. Bye. Oh, I'm a good cook. That's amazing.